Trinity Exposed number 29. Do you serve the angel of God? Acts chapter 27, verse 23. For there stood by me this night the angel of God, whose I am and whom I serve. Uh, you don't serve an angel, right? If you're a Christian, if you're saved, you serve Jesus Christ. You're bought with a price. You see? You are accountable to God. You don't serve an angel. So who's this talking about here? The angel of God. It's talking about the Lord. Let's continue. Verse 24, saying, Fear not, Paul, thou must be brought before Caesar, and, lo, God hath given thee all them that sail with thee. Wherefore, sirs, be of good cheer, for I believe God. Who was it that spoke to him? He didn't say, I believe the angel that told me what God was thinking. He says, I believe God. Why? Because the angel of God told him. You see? For I believe God that it shall be even as it was told me. He was told by God. The angel of God is an appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ as the angel of the Lord. You say, well, how do you know that? Well, if you remember there in verse 23, whom I serve. Well, who's it talking about? Romans chapter 1, verse 9. For God is my witness, whom I serve with my spirit in the gospel of his Son, that without ceasing I make mention of you always in my prayers. We serve God. So, it's rather interesting that you have the angel of God there, um, you know, being compared to Jesus Christ. How about that?